people, 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 people. Care passa suck passe what they do. Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. The first thing that is popping in the news is based off a couple of videos that I got from several persons. Breaking news, breaking news. Based on what this video or the audio in the video is saying, at least three B O D I E S of some younger persons were found in some sorts of lot in the middle of the night. It seems as if someone was trying to get rid of some sorts of evidence by setting the place ablaze. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the voice in the video, and then I'll give my piece. Yeah, people, good night. Three dead body found over the Oatman over by auction. Yeah. And then burn the Oatman for burning the body them. We look on two of them, we don't know. So, anybody miss any loved ones, can please come and identify this body. Look at her. A two look of why. See the next one today, sir. Somebody call the police. We call the feds. Now, people, you hear the voice. Me take out the video because whenever YouTube sees any sorts of FIRE, they are very sensitive PG 13 platform. But you could clearly hear the man say, To B O D I E S of some little picnic, maybe three people totally don't know if the next person was the next B O D Y was that of an adult. However, three people, unless this man kind of lonely, him lick him chip, I don't know what him say. Unless, of course, this man was doing it for some sorts of clout on social media. However, as soon as I get some more pertinent information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. Whenever we hear anything like this in a Jamaica, we should not be surprised because obviously we know that this is the devil's playground. It seems as if some sorts of ill wind, some sorts of evil or demonic spell is rolling all over Jamaica. Point blank and period. I have spoken about a very disturbing trend that I see happening in Jamaica. It has always been happening. However, it has been amped up a million folds. I am speaking about family members that are squabbling over land, property, house that was left by family member whether they passed away by natural cause or them lose them life unfortunately. Most of the times when these people gone they did not leave any sorts of will. Just a word of mouth is usually the best thing that these people have. They don't have any sorts of contract, any sorts of documentation, any sorts of thing that resemble any sorts of will. It is all hearsay. Granny I say, she hearsay a fear, auntie, uncle, brother, whatever the case is. The same can be said about an incident that occurred in a farming community in a St. Catherine. Wearing three family member the grandfather his name is owen slow the father his name is michael slow senior the son michael slow junior michael slow the father and michael slow senior they lost their life about 48 hours ago this is based on the information from the grandfather Owen Slow. Based on what the grandfather is saying, Owen, his son and grandson, Michael and Michael Jr., left to go plow out some land. There's a land that there's been some sorts of squabble over for the better part of four years or so. That land is approximately 17.5, 17 and a half acres. It has a house, it has a shack on it. 
they use it for farmland. The father and the son left for go plow up the land for the grandfather. Them realize, uh, hold on a minute. Oh, Michael and Michael Jr. and come back. Something right. So they went and they put out a search. Relatives went and searched them, called the popo, make a report. When them go by there, them see the two man them can up. All sorts of hole in them head, in them upper body. Popo make a report. Like the grandfather said, the motive is some land. The grandfather claims that a cousin of him gave him the land. Obviously, he has no sorts of paperwork, no sorts of will. I just word him out. Cousin gave him the land. However, there's a next lady, a relative, they did not say with her sister, Auntie O. She claims that the land belongs to her. She claims that she have Tyclan deed and she has been paying. Well, she never mentioned the Tyclan deed, sorry. She said that she has been paying the tax on the land for a couple of years. I am going to tell you about us a couple of instances where persons went to clear the land and plow the land and it was problematic. The grandfather Owen said he went to clear the land with a tractor, him and a tractor driver. When him go by there, him and the tractor driver, the lady come, the same lady that claims that she was, she has, um, she's been paying the taxes upon the land. She come and she raised all H-E-L-L, -L, run them off of the land. It seems as if this lady is some sorts of bullbucker and dopey conqueror. She was telling herself or she's been telling herself, so listen, I am going to get this land no matter what it takes and people. It took at least two people to lose them life. So therefore, she chased off the tractor and then based on what happened to the father and the son, they are surmising that, listen, this lady might have had something to do with it it is more than likely the possibility or the probabilities are this is not coincidental based on what the grandfather said this has been going on for four years or more him go at the power power station and him complain apparently they are afraid of this lady the power power tell him Whenever you're going by there, just contact us and we will follow you. So therefore, if you are going with tractor, call we, we will come. If your son and your, and, your, and, your, and your grandson are going over there, call we, we will come. The grandfather know how Jamaica work. Him no fool. Him say, that is not practical. How every time I want to go to the land, when I want to plow up and plant sugar cane, for my future. Since I don't have any sorts of pension, I want to make sure that I put in the work till the soil, sow and then reap so therefore I can make a living for myself. Him knows so that if you call the poor poor, they might show up one time. After that, they will get frustrated. They will tell you, say, you know, say, the vehicle is there. We don't have no gas on the vehicle. Rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. So he said that it was not practical. The grandfather also stated that he got all sorts of DEATH threats from this same lady. He made reports to the power power station again and again and again. However, it got amped up after the lady told him that, listen, you see that house there, upon the 17 and a half acre. Me I go want access to the house. Me I go want the key for the house. Me I go want your keep where. Him says since then, the DEATH threats have been amped up. Him tell the poor poor a million times. Poor poor say, call me. Now people, 
here is where the problem lies. The grandfather said that he believe or he has a strong feeling that those two last person are him son and grandson lose them life because they went over there for plow up the land after she, ch she chased off the tractor people him and the grandfather. So this leads the average person to think that after all these squabbles, after all these cuscus, after all these D-E-A-T-H threats, this lady don't think she did it herself, would not be surprised if she did. She hired some sorts of hitman for Tekwe, the son and the grandson. This lady is adamant that listen, before them people that get this land, me prefer wipe them out and go a prison. Now people, when we think about all of this, it shows you what caused a lot of problems in Jamaica. It is called nobody wants to go to the negotiating table and talk about anything. Everybody wants to do stuff the violent way. So therefore, instead of them coming up with some sorts of amicable agreement, sit down and share the land. It is called greed. It is called everybody wants everything for themselves. Them not care about nobody else. But this again could have easily been avoided. If what the grandfather say is true and the man gave him the land, the man should have given him the deed, the title. The man should have written some sorts of will. But people, you know that in a Jamaica, we are a very informal set of people. And it is not a good recipe whenever you can't reason, but you don't have the proper documentation. It is going to be problematic. If this lady was also the rightful owner of this land, she could have easily shown the paperwork. But again, like me say, very informal set of people, bad reasoning ability. It is a recipe for disaster. When it comes to the popo, it is obvious that these popo are not very trained. They are not very professional. Because if two set of people, a double A are over something, all they would have needed to do is to prove. How do you prove? Somebody show me the paperwork, the documentation for say yes, are you own the land. Whoever has the rights to the land should have been declared in a some sort of statement. The poor poor supposed to warn the other person, listen. You're not on a right to the land. Yeah. Keep where. Come off of the people and property. Leave the people and thing alone. All that you are saying is a figment of your imagination. So therefore, the people them don't know no better. The people them not professional. The people them don't have good reasoning skills. But the poor poor, you would have expected that the poor poor would have intervened and did what they are supposed to do. Maybe it is more complex than I thought. However, they should tell them until somebody can come with some sort of paperwork, nobody not own the land. Only have to come to some sort of amicable agreement. But people, you and I know in Jamaica that is more easily said than done. At the end of the day, this grandfather lose him son, lose him grandson. If him not careful, he might also lose his life. If that lady is not careful, there might be some sorts of reprisal, some sorts of retaliation. She could also lose her life. If some sorts of mediator, since the poor poor don't think that this is their job to solve the situation, don't intervene. This is going to be a very disturbing cycle of D-E-A-D -E left legacy. 
D-E-A-D is the operative word. It is going to continue until everybody gets wiped out. At the end of the day, everybody is going to D-E-A-D and leave the land, leave the legacy. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting and sharing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.